Our repair vehicle today is a 2000 Honda Civic 1.6 dual overhead cam engine and we're going to be replacing the catalytic converter. The tools required to replace our catalytic converter today is going to be 21 millimeter wrench, 15 millimeter wrench, 12 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter socket, an extension, and a ratchet. We have our factory replacement part and we're ready to start. So what we've done is we've raised our vehicle we have some safety stands up underneath here, and we're going to replace our catalytic converter. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove our O2 sensor. This is located on the passenger side, oh, just a little bit up, maybe an inch or so, up on our catalytic converter. So let's go ahead and loosen that up, and then we're going to spin it out of there. Once we get it out, we're going to move it to one side. We want to check the condition of it, make sure no wires are broken, things like that. And what we're going to do is loosen our rear bolts. And it's a good idea that if you have some time to soak these with some kind of penetrating oil, sometimes they can become very tight. And always you want to make sure the vehicle is cool. Once we get those loosened, what we're going to do is we're going to loosen the front. Why we do this is that we have one just flopping around and we got some tight bolts up here or vice versa. It's going to hold it steady for us. Once we get all of our bolts loosened up, we can go ahead and remove them. Once we get our nuts and bolts removed, what we're going to do is we're going to push back and drop the front of it down and then we're going to slide it out. What we're going to do is we're going to compare our factory replacement part with our factory original. So let's do that. In order to do our comparison, what we're going to need to do first is to remove our protective covering. This is a heat shield. What we'll do is just do this. Once we've removed our four bolts for our cover, we're going to remove our cover, set it aside, and this is going to allow us to compare. What we're going to do is we're going to flip it around, make sure that our O2 sensor is sitting just like we took it off. We have our factory replacement part. Let's just compare. Looks like our O2 sensors are in the same area. Our rear flange is good, and our front flange is good. Now we have gaskets that we're going to put in here, one in the front, one in the rear. But before we do that, we're going to install our heat shield first. So let's go ahead and do that. What you want to do is you want to start each bolt before you tighten a single one. Once we've got them started, you want to tighten these up. So what we have is we have our factory replacement gaskets, and this one's for the rear. We want to set that up in there, make sure it fits properly. We want to make sure that it seats firmly in there. And what we're going to do is we have our factory replacement for the front. Now this has a taper to it, and you want that taper to go on the inside. Once we have it, what we're going to do is going to take this, make sure our O2 sensor is on the top, slide this up, we're going to push back on it slightly, we're going to make sure our gasket falls into place, and we're going to install our bolt. Once we get our two front ones started, we're going to go to our back. We're going to start our nuts. Once we get all of our nuts and bolts started, we're going to tighten the rear up first. What you want to do is you want to kind of shake it 
tighten these evenly. Once we get our rears tightened, we're gonna come up here and tighten our front. Once we get those tight, we're gonna reinstall our O2 sensor. We're gonna tighten it and we're gonna torque it down to 33 foot pounds. After we start our vehicle, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to check for leaks at the flange in the forward, flange at the back, and check to see if we have any leaks at our O2 sensor. So let's go ahead, start our vehicle, bring it up to operating temperature. So now that concludes our installation. So let's start it up and see how she runs. Sounds great.